13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's almost 11 minutes after six and we have a very chilly start this morning and get used to it because we'll have a few mornings like this throughout the course of the week. As a lot of us are starting off this morning in the 30s, we have had a mainly clear sky through the overnight. There were just a few clouds that were passing through from time to time and we do have winds that are mainly out of the north. That's going to keep us on the cooler side over the next couple of days. Gives you kind of a synopsis as to what to expect over the next couple of days. But for this morning, yeah, we'll have those upper 30s and low 40s to take us through about the mid-morning hours. More sun than clouds, but further towards the northeast may see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover as we have low pressure up that way, but we'll still be staying dry. Most of us into the 30s this morning. 38 now in Eau Claire, 30 on the dot in Toma, but not too far to the west. Lacrosse sitting at 40 degrees. They've been holding on to those 40s pretty stubborn-like and may dip into the upper 30s later on. Otherwise, winds mainly out of the north, a lot of us 3 to 8 miles per hour. Now, these will start to pick up a little bit more throughout the course of today. But, again, we do have low pressure that's off towards our northeast. There's a look at some of the cloud cover that it's bringing. But for us, we have been staying mainly clear. Further towards the northeast, there's a little bit of mixed precipitation. You'd have to go to southern Canada to find that. That's up towards uh, the northeastern edge of the upper peninsula. For us, again, we'll be staying dry over the next couple of days. But later on this week, while we may not be expecting any snow, we are expecting chances and some rain that'll be heading our way. Here's a look at our upper level flow, though. And this is why that low is going to stay in place and keep our winds out of the north over the next couple of days. Because basically right underneath this, that's where we have low pressure at the surface. We also have low pressure aloft, meaning that it's vertically stacked. And when looking just a little further towards the east, we have this omega blocking pattern, which is named as it does look like the Greek letter omega. That's blocking this low as it wants to go further towards the east, but doesn't really have anywhere to go. And that's, again, what's going to be influencing us over the next couple of days, keeping our winds mainly out of the north. Areas to the northeast, again, may hold on to a little bit more cloud cover. But tonight, we'll see a few more of those uh, make their way into western Wisconsin. However, tomorrow afternoon, those of us north of I-94 likely going to see more clouds than sun. But going into tomorrow night and into Wednesday, that's where we'll still have just a mix of some clouds and sun and winds a little bit more out of the east. And that's going to keep things a little bit milder for Wednesday, but still below average as we should be in the low 60s this time of year. Ten, about 10 degrees below that for our high today, getting into the low 50s with a mostly sunny sky before tonight. We'll have a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky, depending on where you're at as we dip to the mid-30s. And looking ahead at the next couple of days, staying in the 50s for our highs, staying dry. Thursday afternoon brings us a chance at a few showers. Friday seems to be our best chance as high, highs struggle to crack that 50-degree mark before we rebound to the low to mid-50s through the weekend with another chance at some showers on Saturday. Now for a Sunshine Award, Larry Nelson would like to nominate Becky Nelson and says, My wife of 35 years, Becky Nelson, found out in 2017 that she had thyroid eye disease. She went through multiple eye surgeries, and in 2020, she found out that she had breast cancer. In February of 21, we found out it was stage 4 and had metastasized into her bones. We are now on a third medication. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.